。我们今天非常有幸的请到香港城市大学这个朱建豪教授来给我们做呃一个论坛，关于本地呃以香港技术在呃电子工程、生物等等各方面应用。呃，朱教授是这个呃非常的这个成名的一个科学家了。呃，简历也是非常的这个显赫，我我稍微念一下，大家可以。呃，他是目前是这个香港这个物理，香港城市大学物理与材料科学系的讲座教授。这个讲座教授在香港都不是很多的嘛，呃，能够成为讲座教授，他们系仅仅就两位教授。呃，然后呢，他是一九七七年在美国俄亥俄州州立大学数学获得数学系获得。学士学位，呃，一九七九年、一九八二年分别呃在美国的康奈尔大学化学系获得了这个呃硕士和博士学位。主要从事的领域就是对于这个题目所讲，实际上还是等离体物理、离注入呃呃离注入的基础理论，在半导体、生物、信息传感应用等等领域的应用研究，呃。这个朱教授是这个 IVS， 就是美国真空学会的，和这个 IEEE 的这个 fellow。呃，另外呢是很多这个一些呃 IEEE 的杂志，还有一些国际知名杂志的这个主编，或者是资深主编，或者是编委。嗯，他在这个被评为呢，呃，这个被这个呃评为现在国际上材料学科领域，呃，材料学领域。前百分之零点一的呃知名科学家，呃，一九一呃二零零七年呢，获得了这个 IEEE 颁发的这个核与等离体等离体科学协会最高成绩奖，这个是 IEEE 颁发的。呃，这个这个奖呢，是一九七二年设立该项奖项以来，亚洲地区呃首位获奖者。呃，另外呢，也得到了一系列的这个重要的这个研究和杰出水平、杰出研究成果奖，呃，等于说是非常卓越的、非常这个卓越的一个科学家，在华人领域，特别在世界，呃呃这样一个领域，华人这样呃作为一个华人呃成名的科学家，呃，发表了大量的学术论文，反正在在我们多是在这个朱教授的这个实验室去访问的时候。呃，看的都是非常高水平的这个学术论文。呃，这个论文呢，现在数量已经达到了五百多篇，有四本这个学术捐助。另外呢，也撰写了大量的这个论文，呃，这个论据，参与呃编写了，呃，担任过很多次这个国际学术会议的这个主席、呃，执委等等等等，这样。呃，那么作为一个这么有成就的科学家，呃，我们非常荣幸，作为我们一个不太知名的学校，呃、非常荣幸请到朱教授能够光临，呃，给我们做他这个关于研究、关于做学问、呃，关于去做事情的一些感想，呃，获取一些知识，我们表示衷心的感谢。我们再一次欢迎这个朱教授的报告。Thank you. I'm going to speak in English. Is that okay? I'll try to speak slowly. Uh, give me a problem, let me know. Uh, I did it this morning in Mandarin to the park. It was very difficult. I was at the, the institute. This is my second seminar today. Uh, I would prefer to speak in English if possible. All right? But if any, uh, any questions, if I speak too fast, uh, you cannot hear me or anything, just uh, reach out. And I'll be happy to slow down or do something else. Now today I'm going to share with you uh, some of our research uh, that we have done in this area. Basically, plasma-based technology in microelectronics, nanotechnology, and biomedical science. Right? Good. This is our laboratory in Hong Kong. Uh, we're moving to a new one pretty soon. Uh, this is the clean room, a class 1000 clean room. Uh, these are the machines we have. Uh, these are big machines. These are vacuum chambers. So, uh, uh, when you look at the dimension, this is about 1.2 meters tall and about 1 meter in diameter. Pretty big one. So we use it to treat different types of materials and industry, industrial components. And you can see uh, what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to move into a new lab. So if you uh, come to visit me uh, in several months, so we'll, 
from a building in place, which is about three times bigger than this uh, physical thing. Alright, so uh, before I describe specifically uh, some of our programs, let me just give you a summary on what we do. Uh, we, being in the physics department, we work on plasma physics, we work on process modeling and instrumentation. Now basically we look at the interaction between plasma, ions, and materials. What, before I do that, do you know anything about plasma? What is a plasma? Any idea? What is the, the translation of plasma in Chinese? What is the reason? Absolutely, equal number of positive and negative charges. Right? The equal. You have zheng li zi, positive, and you have fu li zi, negative. Dong, meaning you have an entity which has the same number of positive and negative charges. Right? Positive can be ions, negative can be negative ions or electrons. So this is a neutral entity. Okay? So uh, we established that. Uh, in fact, uh, plasma doesn't exist naturally on Earth. Uh, the closest is your fluorescent light. That's a plasma. Television could be a plasma. It's a plasma display, right? Uh, extraterrestrial in the universe, 99% of the matter is actually a plasma. Our sun is a plasma. It's a plasma. It's a hydrogen bomb. It is just an entity, a lot of energy. So basically a plasma is a very energetic entity having ions, electrons, and depending on how you use it, you can use the electron to do something, the ions, or light. In a plasma TV, you take the light to excite the phosphor. The light and the materials, you get a television, right? So it's very useful, and there are a lot of application, uh, deposition, coatings, in microelectronics, you use that. So we do a lot of physics. Uh, looking at how the plasma interact with different samples. Uh, we do a lot of simulation uh, using theoretical modeling. Uh, the ions, how do they get attracted to different places, uh, the uniformity and all that stuff. At the same time, we don't forget about applications. So we also work on hardware. Instruments, this is an example, an ion source that we built. This is the cross section, this is the product, this is the ion source in action. Basically, these plasma ions are being extracted to do a coating or something here. We also work on instrumentation. This is a sample stage with rotating. If you want to implant, let's say, a very uh, cold, uh, irregular shaped material, then you need to rotate the sample. All right? So this is a rotation sample, uh, and, and such as such this. So I'm going to talk a bit more about that. So, so we do physics, basic science. We also do instrumentation. In applications, uh, since this area is very large, uh, we apply plasma to microelectronics, radiance, form again, optoelectronics, and also now, nanotechnology. I'm going to talk about this all in more detail later. Uh, we work on different materials, SOI, silicon and insulin. We work on solar cell, silicon and glass, you know, titanium and energy. Very useful. This is just a cross section. Uh, on top of the products that I'm going to show you. Also, we have the nanomaterial. This is a uh, cadmium sulfide and zinc oxide. Uh, very interesting properties. Electron emission and light emission properties. All right? And also, uh, that kind of, kind of thing. We also work on biology. Uh, nowadays, people look at uh, 